Good morning from the NASDAQ market site in Times Square. I'm Jane King for The Street, and today is Monday, April 20th. Coming up today, Morgan Stanley reports results. IBM's quarterly books will be released after the closing bell, and the Chicago Fed National Activity Index for March is reported. Well, Target's Lily Pulitzer line debuted over the weekend and sold out in less than one day. At Target stores nationwide and online, the floral and pastel prints sold out within minutes. Now, people were waiting outside stores, and in some places, they were sold out in less than 15 minutes. Now, many of the items are selling for double or triple on eBay, and a social media backlash has been launched called Lilygate. Well, it created a lot of buzz when Verizon announced last week that it planned to break up the TV bundle and let people buy packages of just the Fios TV channels that they're interested in. But now some of the owners of those channels, specifically Disney's ESPN, says this violates their agreement. Disney's complaint suggests Verizon never got the OK from Disney before making the announcement, according to The Wall Street Journal. Now, Verizon did close Friday at 48.90. And Kraft Foods removing artificial preservatives and synthetic colors from its iconic macaroni and cheese. It will use spices like paprika and turmeric for the yellow color instead of dyes. This is the latest step the company is taking to please customers who are demanding simpler, more natural fare. Kraft announced a merger with Heinz in late March, and its share have soared since then. And that is a wrap for us, but be sure to track breaking news and analysis all day at thestreet.com. At the NASDAQ market site in Times Square, I'm Jane King for The Street. Have a great day.